Welcome to Sewing Out Loud, the official podcast of ZD Sewing Studio. Here are your hosts, ZD and Mallory. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Mallory Donahue. And I'm ZD Donahue. And today we're going to talk about uh, sewing machine marketing and buzzwords a little bit. Oh, just machines? Like, can it be sewing in general? Sure, sure. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to stop talking. No. <laughs> well, I don't know. She's going to like throw something at yeah, me. I haven't I got seen, a, so I'm, I'm ready a, for it. Okay. That's kind of a really cool uh, thing that happened here just now on Instagram. Uh, one of our Instagram followers... And her Instagram handle is sassy but classy to you. Uh, asks, I like it. I have a sewing and quilting machine. Can I do embroidery on that? And uh, that's kind of like a, a little bit of like a loaded question. It's sort of like, well, yes. it depends on what you call yeah, what embroidery. embroidery. Mm-hmm. And my response to her, and there are a couple of typos in here. Something that Instagram should do is let you edit your comments. You I know. can't. You have to like read yeah. them. Okay, so I, I said, think that about text texting too yeah. <laughs> i said the word embroidery has so many meanings nowadays a lot of people say embroidery and they mean computerized machine embroidery with a machine that has an embroidery unit slash arm with a hoop that attaches to it all of the stitches are automated but before we had computerized embroidery machines people would duplicate the look of hand embroidery by using free motion the ability to drop the feed dogs and move the fabric freely beneath the needle to make designs so you could probably do free motion embroidery on your machine, most likely to create designs. And then I said, this is a podcast episode. Let me know if you have any questions. But then it the plot thickens. She responds, I'll be listening to see if you do. I have a machine I was thinking of purchasing, but was unsure if it was an embroidery machine. When I took a few of your classes before I moved to Georgia, I was only a beginner with my sewing machine and couldn't thread a needle properly. I never imagined using a serger in an embroidery machine, all from getting inspired during your classes. Ah! And she says where she lived and stuff, yeah, but I'm not yeah, going to yeah, share yeah. that. But anyway, um, I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know right. that we had met her, you know, uh-huh, so sure. hello. I'm, I'm sorry you're in Georgia now. I mean, I mean, I hope you're having a great But you must have got some of that sass uh, from us. Uh, yeah, right? exactly. No, yeah. I, I think you're having a, uh, uh, I hope you're having a good time in Georgia. I miss, of course. You and know, you can visit us having anytime. Having people in class, you know, locally. But, um, so when you're thinking of purchasing a machine and all that, this, this is just brought up to me. Okay, before you. These words, you know, one, go ahead. One other thing. Go ahead. So, embroidery machines yes came out in the 90s mm-hmm. right early 90s and what you need to know is it was punch embroidery which means the needle goes up and down mm-hmm. and the hoop moves the hoop moves yep. okay prior to that we had machines that had multi motion type stitches yes. that were decorative stitches and those were called embroidery yep prior to the, the punch embroidery. Right. And the other... So you may have been sold a sewing machine. How, how long ago is that now? In the 90s. 20-something 20, 20 years. Something years ago. Say yeah. 25 years ago, somebody sold you this, and they said, it has 34 embroidery stitches. Right. We now refer to those as decorative stitches. Yes. Okay? Yes. And, I mean, I don't know how... Often that happens anymore that people are confusing. Us I too. no, I have okay. had people. I've had people do that in the store. Right. Generally, I mean, uh, you know, I, right. this this is not meant to be like offensive, but generally it's an older person who has not bought a machine. In right, a while. that's somebody that that was in the market. Right, you know, in the market twenty five years. And well, a lot of things happen with people who come in who bought a machine twenty five years ago. And the changes, it's just like any Sure, and, it may, and maybe they haven't even, like, sewn in a while. Right, and they're right, getting their machine right. serviced, and I'll say, is it an embroidery machine? How, how confusing is that, Right, man? it is you confusing. But well, say, it's the same way with fabrics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they'll I mean, say, we've come a long way. Yes, 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 it's an embroidery machine. And I'll be like, okay, well. Does, does it have a hoop? Does I'll it ask have them a, about yeah. their problems and ask them about a unit, and then all of a sudden they're like, what? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you, okay. Right. You don't you don't have the what we call an embroidery machine now, so you That's so we right. don't have to worry about those things. Yeah, right. da, da da. But yeah, I I think that um, but sassy sassy but classy to use question. Also, she she called the machine like a sewing and quilting machine, mm-hmm. and this to me is the biggest sort of like. It's a lie. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. It well, what it is is it's a misnomer that sewing machine manufacturers put on us. 
And it's confusing. It's confusing. It's terribly confusing. I, I guess maybe lies too strong, but it just bothers me that marketing is what confused us. Yes. Like, I, I get it that they're trying to say, hey, quilters, you can right. use this machine, you know, or something like that. Like, I totally get it. Or calling calling a machine the, you know, quilter's edition or right. the quilter's choice or the quilter's dream Whatever. Whatever. You know, yeah. uh, that's that's fabulous. And we're not trying to hate on quilting here, but this is a thing that is coming. Well, up. no, I'm hating on the manufacturers <laughs> and how they've marketed it because I have sold these machines and I have had somebody come up and go, oh, well, I don't want a quilting machine. And that says it's the mm-hmm. quilter's edition or whatever. And I'm like, and then I have to go through explaining right. that all, if I take the label off, <laughs> it's not the quilter's edition. It's, a, it's the same as the machine sitting next to it oh, that's we need not our own, the quilter's edition. We need edition. our own machine that's like, right. so whatever you want edition. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> it, well, or this is how it works for you. Sure. I mean, yeah. I, like, I'm going to have a line of patterns. I'm getting excited. i got to calm down. I'm going to have a line of patterns called the um, I'm sick of this bleep <laughs> patterns. <laughs> going to be what it's called but i i i think uh, i well yeah okay I, so the, there's a situation where a customer comes in and says right. i'm not a quilter i don't want to do that or the situation where someone comes in and they are convinced they must have a machine that says quilt on it or, or they say, can't quilt right well, this machine do quilting and that's another sort of like loaded question exactly. where we do a little we do a little education and i'm always so so hesitant to um I don't. I don't want to sound flippant to someone or right. like disrespectful. <gasps> like a, some man treated me the other day at a dealership of not sewing of machines. Of not sewing machines. Yeah. But I was sort of like, you know, you can, you can. So quilting is sewing two pieces of fabric together. That's piecing. That's piecing, That's piecing to me. Piecing. But right. sometimes people call that quilting. But people will call okay. it quilt. Right. Yeah. And then. And well, then, it's part of the process, sure. obviously. And then you make the quilt sandwich, you know, with your top layer and your batting and your backing. And then those layers are put together by stitching, which can be done lots of different ways. And so if you're going to call something a quilting machine and you're going to be like, what what machine out there is only meant for quilting? Well, it probably, I would say, I would like, a, like long a, arm, a long arm or a mid arm or, or whatever. whatever. The, new, the specific, yes. where all they do is punch up and down right? and, you know, work on some sort of frame mechanism. Now, those machines could also be used to do, like, embroidery well, if they were programmed as and, such. You and know? there is a mechanism, so right. to speak, that you can buy to sit mm-hmm. your regular home sewing machine yep. on. Of course, it's crap. It, it's kind of like not as great because, of course, you don't have the, the um, what do I want to the, say, the long arm, the air, neck, the area yeah, under the yeah. arm. Uh-huh. You know, so you can actually buy a mechanism that you set your sewing machine on and it will make it work on a sewing, yeah, a, you a can, quilting frame. You can put any sewing right. machine technically right. on a quilting and frame. And if we all want to think about this, when the pioneers were piecing together their little pieces of calico by hand, right. you know, and then they were quilting by hand, apparently there's more than one way to do it. Exactly, exactly. Right. So when someone comes in and says, well, can I quilt on this machine? I'm, I'm like, you can quilt on any machine in the store right because all quilting is i mean and i don't mean it, to belittle it, it, quilting it, no, all you know? it is is securing the sandwich sure. together and then, and then i will have well people... i mean and, and not to dismiss like decorative sure or, or di- art quilting uh, or whatever r- r- right now free then, motion art quilting whatever now then somebody and i've had people and i'm like well uh here's the sophia and right. you can piece on this machine and i'll say it's a little small here though so if you wanted to quilt your quilt and they're like oh no i don't do that i'll right. send that away right and yet they ask for a quilting yes. machine and, and so then they tell you they're not going to quilt they're not going to quilt, quilt. Right. they're going to piece so you know i think that is just such a it's it's a confusing thing you can as long as you can sew on it Okay, that's what you need. Right. There you and, go. And classy, sassy, or sassy, classy. S- sassy, but classy to sassy you. Sassy, but classy to you. Um, I don't know if you ever bought a machine from us or, or went through the process of when we sell someone a machine. And what we do is we interview mm-hmm. you. And then we go, oh, this might be this might be what you're really looking for because the labels on the machines that are put on there by the machine manufacturers are marketing. Right. And also, I want to put this disclaimer like I don't think that this woman is like totally confused, but it it brought up something that happens to me every day. I don't think right. she necessarily doesn't know what's going on, but Right, right. Wait, yeah. But when, no, she's smart to ask because yes. 
I'm t- like I said, the marketing is out there, mm-hmm. and all it, it is. I think it's very confusing. Now, when we interview, so we interview someone. I want to bring that up. Right. If, if somebody says, "Well, I just piece," and I'm like, "Well, you don't. If you're just only, if you are only piecing the quilt." You don't need any room to the right of your right. needle. Right. You need a quarter inch to the right, right of your needle. You know, I, I mean, of right. course, it's nice to have bigger. No, area. you need a little bit more. Yeah, than that. Yeah, yeah, but you because you, you do wind up with a big piece. Of sure, together, sure, but right. you you almost uh, you, you know don't need anything over there right. depending on what kind of quilt you're making. But then someone says to me, "Oh my gosh, this lady had a melody, which I don't know how much is to the right of the needle there. Seven inches? Mm, might not be that much. Not, might okay. be like five. She told yeah. me she quilted, like, the act of free motion quilting, a queen size quilt on that thing. And people do. And I'm like, and oh, my And people do. You know, I would never I do mean, that. I mean, obviously, the more advanced tools are only to make it easier sure. for us. Sure. And so if somebody said, no, I want a quilt, queen size quilt, and right. I would say, hey, let's look at something with a little more room to the right, right. of the needle. Now, that machine could be called anything um, because, right. you know, they can call it whatever they want. Uh, but sometimes, you know, a garment sewer wants more room over there or a whatever. Well, I was, see, I always wanted as much room as I could get because I was doing – you know, couture gowns and wedding mm-hmm. gowns and things. And believe me, stuff in that wedding gown, I mean, you're upside down inside that skirt sure. and sewing. I mean, you want all the room you can get. Yeah, so there there are, um, and I think that the bonus episode on the jazz is, should be out by now, you know, when, uh-huh. this, when this comes out. You That's know, a nice machine. Okay, it, like, so like, fits everything. It's it called the jazz. It's almost everything. It's called right. the jazz. So, like, what's that mean? You know, but don't, when, when, someone's, when someone is, like, just be... Beware, I don't know, when someone says this is a quilting machine. I think what you have to do is say specifically what you want to do. Right. You come into, you know, I, I, I was wanting something the other day, and I walked in, and they said, whoa, 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 this is our popular model. And I said, wait a minute. This is what I want it for. Right. You know, my husband and I are going to do this, and we're going to do this, and this is what we want it for. Right. What do you have that fits that? And he took me to a different place than where he was going to start. He would have wasted his time and mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the salesman, I believe, or salesperson is responsible, but you as a consumer are somewhat responsible, too. Um, I guess we got him. And, and, you know, I didn't know the jargon of what I was buying. Oh, sure. And I said to this man, what would I call this if Mm. I want this? And he told me what to say. Yeah. And we we really try to interview about all of that. And embroidery. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, let's let's move on to that term. Okay. okay. So actually, I think this is a little confusing in uh, Baby Lock Land, which is I I look at Baby Lock owners manuals like all the time because that's what we do when we right. deliver the machine. We go through the accessories, and the second thing I get to talk to everybody about is the end foot, and you know what it's called? The monogramming foot. Yeah. The end foot on the Baby Locks is. Actually, it looks like a it looks like a normal sewing foot, but on right. the bottom there's like this. I like to call it a trough. That's right. what I call it. Okay, um, a gr- you know, it's, it's so it's, built up stitches mm-hmm. can move through, can can travel and through the there. end foot mm-hmm. is used in sewing machine mode, right? Not embroidery mode. Good, but call. it's called the monogram foot. But I probably used a foot like that uh-huh. when I made your little well, pillow and- that I. You know, when you were a baby that I wrote Mallory on that I sent you to daycare with, yes. right? Yes. So and that was monogramming That was then. monogramming. And sometimes people use the word monogramming for, they'll say, oh, she has a monogramming machine. You sometimes know, they'll that, use mammogram. Or mammogram. She has we, a mammogram. <laughs> we, used to, we used to do, <laughs> we used to have um, industrial machines and every once in a while we would get a phone call and they would say, do you give, do you do, ma- do you do mammograms there? And I would call in the back to Terry who, who did, you, you know, worked operated those machines and I'd say, hey, Terry, you're giving mammograms today? And he would turn bright red. But, oh, my God, I love doing it. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that monogramming foot, I, I explain, like, the little history of it <clears throat> as I'm delivering these machines. I'm like, we used to only have these things that we now call decorative stitches. That's right. what I like to call them It's because you call them that. You taught me that. Um, I call them decorative stitches. This is what you use. And I actually went in the delivery. I do a satin stitch with the J foot, with the zigzag foot. Yes. And I let it build up, and I'm like, yes. uh-oh, you know, look at this. Now we're going to use the end foot, mm-hmm. and I show them the difference between what those two feet do. It makes a big difference. It does. And so, uh, but don't try to go to the 
computerized embroidery part of your machine and use your not and a use your end foot. Your end and foot, I, right. I I I know somebody who did that. Yeah, we yep. yeah. Oh yeah, and he's a smart man. And he's a smart guy. You know who we're talking yep. about, bud. Yep, yep. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so um, he's like, you know, this machine was working. Well, at fine. least he knew something was yeah. wrong. The machine was working fine in the store, but it just it's not looking right. And I was like, oh well. Anyway, so then when you have embroidery, when you have what we now in the modern sewing machine you know market call embroidery, this punch embroidery that you see people do. The foot um, has a spring on it, okay? It screws onto the machine versus snapping on. If you have a snap-on shank, there are some machines if, where it sort of hooks on, you Yeah, know. if you have a snap-on, you need to worry about it because with the vibration, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's not, not going to work. So you know you're in the wrong place. Yeah, and it'll yeah. have like a little like a little uh, opening for the needle. Usually okay. it looks like a little circle where, or a little a C maybe. Yeah, where did this foot, though— Originate. Well, it was originally a free motion foot. Yeah, originally free motion, right. free motion quilting or free motion embroidery, thread painting. And if you think about it, the principle is very much mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. The needle stays in one place and you're moving the, Move fabric. the fabric. And yeah. that's what the modern embroidery machine does. The hoop is programmed to move. The needle is punching only. And that is the difference. When I said earlier that a long arm was sort of like an embroidery machine, well, right. it's different in that the machine moves. Right. Okay, whereas the fabric doesn't. Okay, right. so just in case anybody was going to get mad at me. Um, but I... Uh, then if that's you don't what, understand, ask us. We can explain sure. it. Sure, and notes. that's what, um, that's what uh, I wanted to make clear with Sassy But Classy to you, that if she was... It sounded maybe like she was looking at a used machine from an oh, individual. Oh, might have been. So, like, yeah. especially then, then, and I'm not saying all dealers are perfect, you know, right. but then you can kind of ask the questions, like, wait... Hey, if you're calling this an embroidery machine, like, what do you mean? You yeah, know? And, and I have to tell you, and, and I, when it, when you're buying from an individual, they may not know the jargon. They may not know exactly what to call it. Right. I mean, here's here's an example I'll give you. I will say to someone over the phone, "So, what kind of a machine do you have?" And they'll give me, they'll tell me they have a extra, say, or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My machine's an extra, and I'm like, there was no baby lock extra. There I don't have... remember there ever was being there no an extra. I don't know, but what? Well, I, anyway. this is an example. And then they come in, you know, and it's not that right. machine. Right. And I don't know where they got that word or why they're calling it that or, or whatever. So, you know, I'd say if they tell you what that machine is, you look it up on the Internet at least and see if you can get some information right. about it. Right, and see it so, et cetera. Right. But, yeah, I think the, the quilting and the embroidery sort of words, you know, they, they can have a lot of different interpretations right. depending on someone's experience and now, there are, how it's being marketed. And there are combination machines that are sewing machines and embroidery machines. So there's an embroidery un unit that slips on. Uh-huh. And then there are embroidery only machines. That's all they do. They don't sew. And um, and there's sewing machines that don't embroider. That don't embroider. And those are kind of the, and then there are sergers, but those are sort of right. the, um, the categories that we use when we are helping someone to choose a, a machine. We'll say, okay, are you interested in embroidery? Because this can narrow it down for us, you know, or, or they'll come in and say, I only want embroidery. I love my sewing machine, you know, da 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 da, -da all that stuff, you know. So anyway... You just beware of what you want. Be aware of what that machine actually does when you're doing it. And um, and it might take a little conversation between sure. you and the person, you know, selling the machine to clarify what you want. So quilting and embroidery, as the, I think we've got time for maybe one more buzzword that gets uh, misused or Something like well, that. You got one. This. What is you, it? No, oh. I was. I thought you well, had one. Well, about machines. Yeah, or about or about sewing. Presser foot or power pedal. <laughs> yeah. My, well, those are kind of like misused ones. <laughs> right. Right. You know? I, I just think it's funny that people will say, you know, I'm pre I'm pressing on my presser foot and my machine won't go. Well, no, it won't because that's not what gives it the power. But well, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, but I think those. Do you have? Do you have one? No. No. Oh. I don't. I don't. We we kind of we could have wrapped that up and been like so polished. And <laughs> that's I think that's a whole other episode, you know, about misused, you Words, know, sewing terms. Yeah. But I think embroidery and quilting and you know they get kind of mixed up in the marketing, of right? The and the piecing for and the quilting and the this yeah, and the that and, quilting. The, and can I do free motion or not? And da, 
da, da. you know, and really a good dealer knows all that. Yes, yes. Or you can ask us. Uh, since we started this podcast, we have answered multiple Facebook and Instagram questions yeah. about. I would, I would be surprised if you could come up with a question that we could not address yeah. properly. You know, well, uh, we got a lot of people say, "Hey, we're looking at these two brands of machine right. or something like that," and you know, we will give you our honest opinion and give you the tools that you can use to ask the right questions too. So, if you got a question, uh, let us know. We're on Instagram at ZD Sewing Studio, and uh, you can click through to our website as well uh, from the podcast. It's SewingOutLoud.com, and you can comment on the podcast or read just via email and my email address is mallory at so here.com so happy and so long thanks for listening to sewing out loud for even more expert sewing advice visit so here.com 